Hey guys, Vikas over here. Today we are going to see how we can send data from Arduino based microcontroller to InfluxDB directly. So over here I am going to use a DSP32 module. If you have seen my earlier video on this, we are able to send data from Arduino or basically SP32 module to Node-RED and then we are writing data to InfluxDB. The communication between the SP32 module and Node-RED was based on WebSocket but over here they are going to send data directly from the SP32 module to InfluxDB. So to start with uh, we just need uh, to install the required libraries to Arduino ID and the library that we are going to use is InfluxDB and I have given the link to the sketch that I am using so I will just be copying this okay now let's go to libraries manager and search for InfluxDB and I can just click on install I, I already have it installed in the sketch you need to make few changes first is uh, you need to change your time zone and you can uh, check out this link over here that will give you uh, your time zone specific values and all that then we need to set up the Wi-Fi SSID the Wi-Fi password on the influx TV URL the organization and the bucket and finally the measurement so for here, I have just pre-filled everything. I will just create a token for my SP32 model. So you go, so you can create a token by visiting the web area of InfluxDB and get into API tokens over here in load data section. And we just create a full access token SP32. and paste it so i'm just going to change this measurement to two sensor and rest going to the same if you want to change the bucket you can also do that uh, so we are in buckets you can create or add a new bucket so that's just for organization so don't worry about that then we create a client we don't need to change anything here and this is the point basically that uh, you know basically will be used to send the data so over here the example sketch is sending the wi-fi ssid and it's basically adding the tag device and ssid and finally send, uh, sending the receive signal strength uh, using add field so you, if you want to send some sensor data we can also add that over here and if you're trying to send multiple data it has to be in a for loop or something like that you cannot add multiple fields directly and finally is just write out the point to the influx client so that's all the Arduino side of it okay now the code is uploaded we can open up the serial monitor and syncing time it is sync the time this is based on my time zone and it says it is connected to influx db now let's see on influx uh, db web UI if we are getting data to do that i'll just get into data explorer then on test this the measurement that we're using is sp32 sensor So just here and just search for that yep and the field is ISI device is SP32 and we can so on filter the Wi-Fi and all okay. so we don't need to do anything now just click on submit and we should get the data as a table now we can plot this data uh, so using graph you can customize chart or you can uh, you know use other charts as well uh, like you can use graph with the current value and 
and over here we can choose the interval so let's say i just want past 15 minutes so that will give you better resolution over here so apart from this you can uh, in the influx db ui you can create dashboard go on creating dashboard and over here let's say we add a cell and that's going to paste on this sensor and yep and we select past one hour and we can save it and this basically shows the data for past one hour for the particular film. so we can also name it if it is required now that and you can also set auto refresh for the dashboard so it will automatically refresh every given interval so you can actually create uh, multiple things over here you can customize according to your requirement and all that so that's all with this video guys i hope you have enjoyed this video if so hit the thumbs up button and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet consider subscribing it see you next time with our next video till then bye